Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome to the Underground Laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We also create comics because we are doing a challenge. We are doing the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. What that is, that's started by Kevin Cross, and it's where you spend at least 30 minutes a day every day working on your own personal comic book project. If you have more than 30 minutes to spend, do it. But if you're busy, have a busy schedule and that's all you can fit in, that's the minimum and that's what you got to put in and you do that for 100 days straight. Then you can vlog about it, talk about it, let people know about it. And then at the end of that 30 days, you'll get a lot more done on your book, make some progress. So what we do every day when we do this is we jot down where we are just to keep track. You know, we are at day 33. Day 33 of 100 Days of Main Comics, that's where we are on the chart. So, what's going on today? Well, there's something I wanted to talk about. I want to talk a little bit about space today, because I've got my cool, I like this. See the shirt? I get more compliments on the shirt. I got the shirt for like $5 on a Threadless like blowout sale. And I always get comments on this shirt, and pretty good deal for 5 bucks. But anyway, so I, I really dig that. But we're talking about space today because I wanted to talk a little bit more about the, the 100 Days of Main Comics anthology that's coming out. So the people that have done this challenge before, and this has been going on for a while. Um, and by the way, I, forget, I always forget to mention this, but this is my second round of 100 Days of Main Comics where I'm working on, I, I, yeah, I, forgot, I forgot to mention this too, but this is my comic. Uh, this is issue one. I've got three issues available right now. I'm working on issue four, and that's the project that I'm working on. But I did a little, I took a little break to work on another project. Not a whole, not a whole comic book, or not even a small comic book, um, but just a pinup for the 100 Days of Make Comics Anthology, which is comprised of a bunch of people that have already done this challenge, and most of them are doing their own stories. I think they're six page stories, and everything that I've seen is looking really cool. So I'm really anxious to see how this thing comes together and uh, and I will let you know more when we get to that point. But I didn't have time to do that because I'm knee deep in my own comic, but I did have time to work on a little pinup. So I know you've seen this. If you've been watching the channel, you see the process, but it is complete. So I just thought I would show it to you guys. Um, there you go. I don't want to show it too long because I kind of want people to kind of see it as a surprise when they open the book. But so that's coming along. That's finished. So, aside from little things here and there, I have more time now that that's done, I have more time to work on my comic. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go over here to the Paralleloscope and we're gonna check out the process of this book already in progress, so let's go to it. Okay, I totally just lied to you. I'm not gonna show you the process of Young and the Dead because uh, the 30 minutes I put in today is kind of boring. I was just doing some research and uh, looking for some reference material and things like that so I figured since we were talking about the life in space pinup um, I did capture some of the process of that process of that so I'm going to go ahead and show you that so right now it's a it's a lot of just filling in large black areas but then I'm gonna I'm gonna paint some some stars and things like that and I don't think I'll sh I'm gonna show it to you kind of in pieces because I don't really know the well, I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know if they want me to show this right away, if they want it to be a surprise or or, or what, but, but a lot of people are showing their process on creating the comic books. I mean, I don't know necessarily the pinups, but their comic book process, the people that are doing this anthology, so um, I don't think it's, you know, it's probably not a, not a big deal. Plus, uh, you know, it'll be a nice high-res picture when it's all done and formatted in the comic so I'm anxious to see how how that's gonna come out I mean I'm I, I'm really digging some, a lot of the work that I've I've seen um, especially from the the, the the guys who are actually running it uh, Marshall and Mike and Chris so um, their stuff all looks awesome so um, I'll be in good company here but uh, yeah I didn't really, like I said before, I just did not have the time to do a story. It would have been nice, but who knows, maybe they'd do it again, or if Kevin does the mini comic stump truck again, um, I can contribute a, a shorter story to that. And I do have an idea for a short story that's actually, has to do with Young and the Dead, but it's like kind of a, I don't know, I wouldn't say a prequel, but like a, 
it just kind of focuses on one of the other other characters and what kind of happened before kind of the apocalypse and everything um, and kind of how they they meet up and everything so um, I do want to do that but that that definitely wouldn't fit in the life and space theme anyway so but um, so I'm getting ready to I gotta start uh, dropping in some stars and everything but yeah I keep I keep noticing little pieces that I left out here and there so um, just filling in some of the shadows underneath some of these asteroids and if you can't tell because like I said it's kind of jumping around but it's it's kind of this guy he's out in space um, he's just kind of la relaxing drinking some coffee um, reading a book that's entitled life in space and he's sort of I guess he's like a castaway you know or he he's lost out there so you can see that this kind of space station or this I kind of wanted this Swiss Family Robinson vibe but in space then again I guess that's kind of the idea behind Lost in Space but but where you know you, if you've ever been to Disneyland where they have the Tarzan treehouse which used to be the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse because you know they basically took the ship that they crashed on the island and built a tree house out of it and everything like that so I kind of wanted that same general idea for this piece where maybe his uh, spaceship crashed and he's just out there in space collecting you know space debris and and kind of fashion it together as some sort of a little <laughs> kind of a, a asteroid slash treehouse type thing so anyway that's that All right, that will about do it for another day of 100 Days of Making Comics. Day 33 is done. So we take that off the big pad of paper. We crumble it up. And we say so long to another day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 34. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process, now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at surfworks.com. Also follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in the series. There's much more to come.